Yo, what's going on guys? Michael Jordan of the Copy Doc here. Welcome to another Overwatch League video. Today we're doing another tier list. <laughs> Just kidding. No, so I was looking through some old tweets and some old pictures on my phone because I was clearing it up because you know I have a lot of uh, pics on my phone. And I ran into um, this giveaway that I won. So back in August, August 9th of last year, Gladiators tweeted out, Play with the Gladiators plus celebrity guests. Want a chance to play Overwatch with the Gladiators in person? Don't miss out. And then it was like retweet, like, and follow to enter. Submit entry here. Blah 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 blah. When it was at the some college esports arena, it was actually pretty cool. But it was like retweet, like, follow to enter. I actually didn't like the post, and I still won. So you know, they lie into you. But so, you know when you just enter giveaways because you're like, oh, I might win. But, you know, the reality is you're never going to win a giveaway. Well, that's what I did when I retweeted that. I actually didn't think I was going to win. But then on August 12th, two days before the event, they says, congratulations, you are one of the 12 winners for the Gladiator Summer Scrim giveaway. Uh, please respond to this email and let me know if you're able to attend. Now, I wasn't thinking at the time. And it was a six hour drive to this place from where I lived. And I was like, yes, let's do it. Uh, specifically, I said, thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm literally shaking in excitement. Um, I wasn't really shaking. I was excited for sure, because I like the gladiators, but I wasn't shaking. You know when people like they're on their phone, they're like, haha, LOL, they're not actually laughing, they're like stone face. Yeah, that's kind of like what I said when I did that. Just thought I'd point that out. I don't want to look like, you know, someone that shakes when they're excited. Okay, maybe I did a little bit. So what? Anyways, it comes Tuesday, 5 in the morning. Me and my best friend, we leave to go to California. Something also about this, um, he doesn't know how to drive stick shift, and we took a manual car. So I had to drive like 7 hours to this place. Uh, thanks for that, friend. Just kidding. But... I had to drive seven hours to here. So we got there at like 10 and it was, we're supposed to set up at 11 o'clock. Yeah, so the schedule arrival and set up at 11.30, 12 to 12.30, get mic'd up and introduce the player, game and players, live stream, and then some other stuff. Right, so we got there at like 11, no, we got there at like 10-ish. So we went to Taco Bell, you know, grab some of those um, crunch things, the breakfast ones, those are really good. But then we go, we go to the gladiators and we meet them. The first clip I'm gonna show is we're all sitting down and they like go through each person one by one. I will, uh, uh, Chris Puckett and Deepay, the coach of the gladiators, were the people casting this. So this is a look at Team Silk Ted. We got Silk Thread alongside Hydration. That is Samson Ibukam, an outside linebacker for the Rams. We got Bjorn, a.k.a. Katie here, one of our fans, alongside Michael Jordan in seat number five. That's his real name. I asked him, Mike Jordan, number 23, as well as Sam Metal at the far end. And the, the setup was basically, it was a King of the Hill. The first game was King of the Hill. Second one was Capture the Flag. And then the third game was the Hog and the Well, where basically you can't shoot the other hogs, but you can, like, hook them and drag them in the well. But, you know... I actually didn't know what we were doing. We Everyone was completely blind, even the players. But I was on a team with Silk Thread and Hydration. And then the other team, it was Sure4 and iRemix. And then there were two um, NFL players per team. No, one per team. And then three giveaway. Because there are 12 winners, three on each team. And then there's two rounds of this. So first thing is King of the Hill. And before you guys make fun, because I will show some clips before y'all make fun of me. This is my first time I ever played PC, okay? And when I was on uh, PS4, I was like mid-plat. I wasn't that as good as I am now, but I wasn't good. Um, I hadn't played PC before this. So the next clip I am going to show is they capped first point and I fed. So I'll throw that up right now. Not that hard, so I'm, I'm really liking that comp from them. Also, uh, brilliant Reinhardt player. Very protective player. He probably plays defense out there. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then this next clip is we won the first round pretty good. And then you could see me like, yo, let's go, let's go, you know, because I'm a hype man. So I'll roll that right now. Hey, Sam, everybody, come Woo! on now. <laughs> Claps all around, everybody. Let's get this going. Round one. Okay, so also something to note, I didn't know about push to talk up to this point because, you know, in PlayStation, there is no push to talk. 
you just talk. So I thought I was talking to the team the whole time, and I was like, be super hyped during the game and making callouts. They couldn't hear me that entire game. <laughs> so, you know, when I was like, heal me! I didn't get healed. Also, something to note, because you will see the, all, both, all four of the pros are on healer. That's because they said it'd be cheating if it wasn't. That is not my words. That is the people that set this whole thing up. Okay, then the, um, the next clip I'm going to show is we're in Capture the Flag. We won the first game, of course. You know, I'm, the, I'm playing. Of course, we're going to win. Um, the next clip I'm going to show is in Capture the Flag. Uh, it's going to be me getting diva bombed. I don't know why I'm showing this, but here you go. It's his hand, and it's Michael Jordan trying to push this one up. Felicia takes out Silk Thread. I haven't seen him use jump, so I don't think you can use movement abilities. Felix Felicius with a big bomb, knowing that he can't use movement abilities, actually destroys. Them. Okay, and then there's two more clips that I want to. Sh uh, three more. So, you know when I said that no one had any idea what we were doing, neither did the casters. So when the third game started, they had a pretty funny reaction of realizing what we were actually playing, so I'll throw that up. Yeah, so that Li Zhang looked very All we beautiful. play is comp, David. No one would know. And here we oh, go. Oh, it's already starting. It's a hog party. Let's go. You can hook your team. Oh, it's death this is incredible. I was not told this is it's death free for all. I am so oh, much it's... more excited now. Silk Thread opens things up. <laughs> There's... Oh, oh, so close. That was Samson. Oh, I see. Their their oh, last ones are disabled. My I assume. Goodness. Yeah, it doesn't. It looks like a hook only. So it only. is hook only. Hook only. Yes. Dorfboard gets hooked in by Remix. All right, Remix. And then one of like the two hype moments that like I was mentioned in, um, is this the first one I'm gonna show is in the Hog game, um, hydration at Irie. It was pretty. You know what? I don't know who it was, but I'm just gonna show it. It was really funny. She's up here. This is Remix Silk has been versus choking Remix. a little bit, and uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, hydration. He says, Get back over here! They gotta, gotta break the break railing. The rail. They break don't. There you go. They broke the rail. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an epic. Michael, no! Michael, oh, Michael, Michael, the Kiss J. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> hydration stalled out Remix. Meanwhile, Silk Thread was able to pick up a kill. So Silk, for the first time in this game, has stolen the number one spot. Michael Jordan has no honor. Okay, and then the last one is what my nickname. So my friends were obviously watching the stream because, you know, they support me and whatnot. And they probably had nothing to do with their lives, kind of like myself right now. But um, um, my nickname for a little bit was Thick and Clunky. And here's why. In the right. Uh, Red Team makes a huge comeback. Z O <laughs> Hydration with the boop. Silk Thread with the two-piece. And a lost fight is won by the Gladiators pros. Look at them, both 70% of their way to an all. I think we're going to see a big rally here. Once you get armor on that Zenyatta, he can face tank damage. Oh, Michael Jordan just pinning in. Michael Jordan, usually known for his finesse and footwork, <laughs> uh, is actually just charging in. He's like playing a, thick and clunky yeah. tonight, and I like it. Yeah, so also I wish I could put the stream link in the description and i actually wanted to watch the whole stream and take out more stuff but it has been removed probably because it's been up for way too long that really sucks i really wanted to watch it again just like you know to live back the memories while being bored because i'm so good at every game it gets boring but some other things to point out so after they had like this jersey exchange thing it was kind of cute whatnot i'm not really into that i'm not into football that much but um so the event finished and let's talk about like the after the event because i feel like it's like that's where we got to talk to the players and stuff something i noticed is you know before this whole thing i loved hydration and silk thread i loved them as players and stuff but after the event they were the hit them and i remix were just like all sitting just talking to each other not really there's 12 fans there that you know some i drove six hours but they weren't really after me, which is fine, you know, you don't have to. But the one that, the thing that really impressed me is sure for, he was literally talking to every single person. It was taking his time to get to know everyone, which is just something really cool about sure for. You would think that, yeah, obviously he's like a nice guy, but he's like probably one of the nicest on the team. He's really open. And I also teabagged sure for, that was pretty funny. But, you know, this video wasn't like anything serious. It was just talking about my experience in just a little document. I'll throw up some pictures that I took. I got like my hat signed. I got a picture with D-Pay. And I got to talk to him for a little bit. He's pretty cool. Um, I've already taken a lot of pictures with the Gladiators themselves because I met them at E3. 
And then, um, I'm, yeah, I forgot to take a picture with Shurfer, though, which is probably one of the saddest things. Like, I, I definitely regret not taking the time to say, hey, Shurfer, do you want a photo? Even though we talked, me, him, and my friend for, like, five, ten minutes just about Overwatch and whatnot. But, you know, it was a pretty cool experience for sure. And I hadn't, really, like, won anything ever in my life, so it was pretty cool to win a giveaway and to be recognized for it. They also tweeted out the winners, and, you know, no no plug, but, you know, you can follow me at the at Coppadoxy, uh, you know, on Twitter. But I was the first name on the tweet, so that was pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's just a random video. I can't really think of any, like, actual videos to do right now. I think I might have one. But I think one of, the, like, the three things I took from this is um, playing at LAN is really it's different than playing at home like some people can be really good just on their own and be trash at land and then it could be the opposite for some players but just the land environment is super cool being casted like having your game casted is awesome especially by chris puckett i love that man's voice and D D paper did a pretty good job as well and then you know i forgot what the third thing was but Whatever. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Peace.